Hey guys, welcome back to Life Rocks. Stuff is getting bad out here. Coronavirus is here and we are in the middle of a freaking pandemic. And if you're like me and you're down to the last of your little travel size hand sanitizer, you are probably freaking out right now because the stores are out of hand sanitizer. Out of hand sanitizer everywhere. Have no fear, Life Rocks is here and I'm about to show you guys how to make hand sanitizer at home from a few simple ingredients. <laughs> but first, we're here at the local Walgreens and we're going to check out why everybody is in a panic over hand sanitizer. Let's check it out. It started with limiting sales on sanitizing products. Before long, hand sanitizer shelves were completely empty everywhere. Stores were wiped clean of disinfectant sprays and sanitizing wipes. As consumers caught on, the ingredients needed to make sanitizer also started selling out. Medical masks and gloves are nowhere to be found. Even the toilet paper aisles are getting empty. So, as you can see, we had no luck here at Walgreens. No hand sanitizer. They're already running out of toilet paper. No disinfectant spray. They're also running out of the ingredients to make hand sanitizer. As you saw, there was absolutely no alcohol in the store. No isopropyl alcohol, which is one of the needed ingredients to create hand sanitizer. Um, they were also out of their aloe vera gel, which is what everybody is using to create a hand sanitizer gel as well. I'm going to show you my secret and where I was able to find the ingredients that I needed to make hand sanitizer. It'll probably only be available for a short time, so you guys have got to get out there and get it. If you already have your ingredients and you're ready to jump ahead to the instructions, go ahead and skip to the 4 minute and 30 second mark. We checked out another Walgreens location yesterday and found the same exact scenario. If you've been able to find hand sanitizer somewhere, tell me where in the comments down below. Alright guys, we're going for round two. So if you want to find the supplies that you need, you're going to need to think outside of the box. If you go to your regular cookie cutter grocery stores and pharmacies, all those chains where everybody is rushing to buy their medical necessities, their masks, their gloves, their hand sanitizers, their alcohol, their disinfectant sprays, they're going to be sold out. Everybody is flocking to those places in swarms. So you need to think outside of the box and go to a place that would carry a small selection of those supplies, but it's not the place that everybody is thinking to go for those supplies. So I am here at you guessed it, a Dollar General. Dollar General is not the place everybody rushes to when they think medical needs, medical supplies. So we're gonna pop in and check it out. The other key is find yourself a store in kind of a desolate area. Let's take a look at where this Dollar General is. So as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere which means this store isn't seeing the swarms of panic shoppers like we're seeing in the big cities. Let's go see what we can find on the shelves. So they're already sold out of hand sanitizer just as we expected and sold out of disinfecting sprays, but they've got you covered on TP with another truckload coming in tomorrow. All right guys, back at home and I had some luck at the Dollar General, so we're gonna take a look at what we got and the ingredients that we're gonna use for our homemade hand sanitizer. So we have got some 91% isopropyl alcohol. It's really important that you get 91% or higher. Um, anything below that will become too diluted. Then aloe vera gel, just that stuff that you buy on the sun care aisle that you rub on your sunburns. There is a specific recipe that you're going to need to follow. It's going to be two parts of alcohol, one part aloe vera gel. If you want to add scents, you can. So you can add essential oils. Let's get cooking. 
Make sure to sanitize your work area before you begin. Then sanitize all your tools and equipment with alcohol. I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol because I'm going to save the good stuff for my hand sanitizer. As you know, 91% alcohol is selling out fast. If you were able to find some on the shelf somewhere, tell me where in the comments down below. Make sure you also sanitize the bottle that you're going to store your hand sanitizer in. After sanitizing all my tools, I'm going to use my measuring cup to combine accurate measurements of my alcohol and aloe vera gel. Make sure you've washed your hands properly before beginning and use gloves if you have them to prevent contaminating the product. Measure one cup of 91% isopropyl alcohol then add one half cup of aloe vera gel. Did you make some of your own hand sanitizer? Tell me about your recipe down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. After combining the ingredients, it's time to whisk well. Make sure that you use a whisk and not a spoon. It's necessary to get all of the ingredients completely incorporated for strength and effectiveness. Now we're ready to pour our mixture into our sanitized bottle. If you followed along with this recipe, let me know how your sanitizer turned out in the comments down below. And if you decided to add a fragrance, let me know what scent you added. Okay guys, we are armed and ready to protect ourselves from the coronavirus with our homemade hand sanitizer. Now, as you can see, this is definitely more watery than a typical commercial bot hand sanitizer that you would get in a store, but this is the consistency that your homemade hand sanitizer is going to need to be if you have the right amount of alcohol in it. You have to keep your hand sanitizer at least 60% alcohol. So we're diluting a 91% alcohol with the um, aloe vera gel, which creates a runnier consistency type of hand sanitizer, but this will be as effective for you as most store-bought hand sanitizers. Now, if you can find store-bought hand sanitizer, definitely buy it while you can, because the CDC doesn't recommend homemade hand sanitizer, um, unless it's really your only option. But as you can see from the stores that we visited, this is really our only option right now. It's also really important to let you guys know that washing your hands is way more effective than hand sanitizer, whether it's store-bought sanitizer or homemade hand sanitizer. So wash your filthy hands, but if you've got hand sanitizer, don't leave home without it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join me next week when I show you how to make reusable toilet paper. Just kidding, that's disgusting. Bye guys.